Yeah, so we stumble across a uh, interesting little game here in the Sony Lounge at E3. Uh, could you just walk us through the basics of what, what when Vikings Attack is? Uh, well, it's basically a sort of um, crazy multiplayer brawler. It's a it's a sort of a party game really. Um, in it, you are in the in the quest, what we call the quest mode of the game. You are defending your town against the invasion by a, a bunch of Vikings, and it's totally multiplayer. Um, you play, uh, you control like a little team of characters, like townsfolk, say, uh, and you work your way through the town, ridding it of Vikings. And you can do this with uh, up to three other friends, basically. It's on PS3, it's on Vita, uh, you can play any combination of those online and just like have a blast with your mates, basically. It's got really simple controls, really easy to pick up and play. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, the stages and the levels that you play through? Uh, yeah, well, it's um, it's set in a, in a it's set in a nice sort of 1970s town. It's kind of nostalgic for me. This is a bit weird because it's kind of a little bit like the town that I grew up in. Um, in that, it's just kind of a little bit run down, really, and a little bit sort of grotty, right? But uh, You're not saying what port. I'm not going to say where it was or anything like that, right? <laughs> but. Um, uh, there's all sorts of features that you're going to find as you go through the game. Uh, to start with, it's quite simple, but then you're going to encounter sort of, well, they're outside a nightclub here at this part. Um, there's levels with a sort of signposts that you can bounce objects off, and kind of, there's levels with like kind of warp gates and things like this. There's all sorts of little features that will keep you on your toes, traffic and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's quite a, kind of a simple idea, but we just keep introducing new things for you along the way. And then, what's it like working uh, working both on Vita and, and, and PS3? Um, yeah, well, uh, it's fine, really. I mean, we, our studio has a background in, in console development, really, so we kind of knew PS3 already. Uh, so Vita was kind of an interesting new thing to, to work on. But it's not been that difficult, really. It's been okay. Uh, getting the crossplay up and working was pretty good. I mean, we, 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 we don't use any of the sort of special Vita features, like the back touch or anything. Uh, precisely because it's cross-play and we want it to be exactly the same on the Vita as it is on the PS3, uh, and it works pretty well. It's got you know you've got the analog sticks on there, and it, it you know it works pretty much the same. Which which do you prefer to play? Which one do you so, what uh, are you most success successful with? Honestly, I prefer the PS3 just because I like to get a lot of mates around on a sofa around a big TV, and it's just a lot more fun that way, really. You know, but it's just the game is exactly the same on the Vita. It's if you got one controller less, then you can. Play. Absolutely, you can use the Vita as another controller if you want to. Yeah, yeah. If you've got Wi-Fi, yep. 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 And um, when's it coming out, and where are you at in development right now? Um, we're about eight months into production, and it's going to be coming out later this year in in the fall, in time for the holiday season. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. This is it one of those things where if you buy the game, you get both versions? Exactly. Yep. Yep. You buy it once, and you get both versions. Yeah. There's no price yet, but it's uh, it's PSN, so you know you make your own mind up about that. You know. It's not going to cost a fortune. It's not going to cost a fortune. No. No. Thank you very much for okay. your time. Thank you very much. Thanks.